Hello everyone. Let us discuss in this video regarding a problem solution which has been asked in the university examination question paper and it is about context free grammar. And the problem statement is it is 0 to the power m, 1 to the power m, 2 to the power n such that m greater than or equal to 1 and n greater than or equal to 0. Now looking at the problem statement, since m greater than or equal to 1, that means at least one occurrences of 0 and 1 should be there in the language set or the string generated by this context free grammar. And there may be or may not be occurrences of 2's. That means occurrence of 2 is independent of occurrence of 0's and 1's. Now let us design CFG for this problem statement. And it comes like this. Let us start with the start state. Yes. Yes derives. Now see there are two scenarios here. Number of zeros, occurrence of zeros should be equal to number of occurrences of 1. And 2 is independent of 0 and 1. So the first case can be represented using x. And it gives us, it is, since there must be at least one occurrence of zeros and 1, it can be represented like this 0, x, 1. So this handles this particular scenario. Next we have, in order to handle this particular scenario, we need one more variable that is y. Now let us further extend x. x will be, once again it goes for producing more number of zeros equivalent to number of 1s and we can stop this recursion using epsilon. So with this we are able to handle the first scenario. The second scenario is about twos and it is y which takes care of it and y will be put in such a way that it gives us enough number of twos. Now this is once again a recursion. Number of twos, as many number of twos we want, we can have it using this particular rule. And this rule can be stopped using once again epsilon. So this is the CFG for the given problem statement. Now let us cross verify. Now let us first have the language set. Okay, so at least one pair of 0, 1 has to be there. So we cannot have epsilon as a string in this particular language set. That is 0, 1. Next, 0, 1, 2. Next, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2. Next, it can be 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, and so on. Okay. Now let us cross verify the design CFG for this particular string that is 001122. Now we will start with S as start state. Okay, S. So 0x1 y. This particular rule I am applying. Now I can apply this rule because I need two more zeros and ones. That is 0, 0, x1 1 y. Okay. Now that I have two zeros, two ones. Now I have to take care of number of twos. Okay, so it will be. Now let us stop this recursion. First recursion by replacing epsilon. That gives us 0, 0, 1, 1, y. Okay. Next, let us use this particular rule. Okay. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, y. I got one occurrence of 2. Okay. Next, I got another occurrence of 2. That is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, y. Okay. Now I got the string 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. Now let me stop the recursion by substituting y with this epsilon. So it is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, epsilon. So I got the required string. <coughs> so I hope I am able to convince with the solution. Thank you.